you know, I felt like I knew the future. Like when I saw those thermocouples, you know, um, you know, and, and what they were saying right on, on, on there, uh, what was happening, it, it's like, they're not going to make it like, yeah. you know, uh, and I'm sure a lot of other, uh, engineers, you know, knew that or, or felt that as well. Right. You know, but it was just, it's one of those things where like <clears throat> at that moment, you, I, I did wish that I hadn't known any of that, like, just, you know, cause it didn't, it felt, um, you know, there was, it just felt like there was no recovery from it. Right. It's right. Was, yeah. Like a helplessness, you know, where you, you, you yeah, know, it's going right. to fail, but you can't do anything about it. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, yeah. The only thing I could think of in that moment as well was just thinking, well, you know, I, I don't have a intimate knowledge of the shuttle. So just maybe, you know, maybe, maybe there's a subsystem I don't know okay. about. Maybe there's something that'll, that'll fix it and save them. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah but, uh, yeah, that's the, yeah, that, that's the, that's the hard part of those moments. Right. So, that's rough. And then, and then, uh, just, um, you know, back then I didn't really work with the astronauts at all <clears throat> you know once in a while we'd have an astronaut come to the facility and look around they give them a tour but um that's something that, that at that moment I, I didn't so i think that if i hadn't been working with them that would have been even bigger impact right 